Balázs can tell it um, correctly, but Pap Daniel has another position. So he, he is the boss of the document, and the documentary, and he is my boss, and he is still my boss in the same time. So. Uh, yesterday, one of the Solidarity Trade Unions, they had a demonstration here and 15 minutes before the demonstration, uh, the Olaf put a huge record here, just, uh, you know, it was written that place hu hunger strike, uh, that's the place for hunger strike, and, <laughs> and in that, that, that time we got the toy toy toilet and they brought these <laughs> flowers for us <laughs> here <laughs> and of course they closed the main entrance of the MTV and everyone um, also who were here they just can uh, they, they can just uh, get into the B you know just to the, to the uh, other building so it has happened yesterday the demonstration was fine, we were quite happy because uh, uh, one head has fallen from the floor, what we wanted. We are now on the seventh day of the hunger strike. The situation is getting a bit more desperate because we have a strong wind. It's getting uh, colder and colder. You can see that we need some more protection. Yesterday there was some development, some news that uh, I think uh, under the pressure of our protest, the head of the news of the MTI news agency, which also like controlling the media news coverage of the public television and public radio, Elio Gabor was dismissed uh, immediately for very serious violations of professional uh, conduct. But his two deputies, who is just doing the same kind of distorting information, same kind of manipulation day by day, they are still in their position. So we, our original demand was to fire all these three people responsible, not just for the last scandal of blurring the image of the former head of the Supreme Court, but also like the everyday manipulation of the news. They can do the same just how much the situation didn't change a lot in effect. It was shown yesterday when there was a big protest here. The solidarity protest was just in front of this building organized by one trade union of the chemical workers. And before the protest, the company's employees, they put kind of natural border with kinds of bushes. They put also kind of cordon fence that the people, the public, couldn't enter on this space. They explained it that it's a private property. Of course, they wanted to blur not the image now of the head of the judge, but the blur of the image of the strike of journalists, the public media people. And uh, that was just after a ridiculous situation because they put some music like counter music of the protesters and uh, appeared just before the protest, some hostesses of the employer, employer who were giving out like free records and also free invitations to the Museum of the Hungarian Television and Radio. They can enter forward their life. The people were very angry and very upset that we are protesting against falsification, against people who are just distorting information, violating the laws day and night and you are just giving out free records saying that you want to buy us. They were very, very upset. And of course, they, they asked for people who are responsible for all this to be punished, to get those people who were really responsible, get the punishment, to get rid of them. Of course, it still didn't happen. There was one also other person who was like, in a way, disciplined, the, fame, the infame, Daniel Pop, who made this uh, falsification of the report of Com Bandit from uh, Com Bandit, the European Members Parliament of the Greens, he was uh, relieved of his office as head of the news department. So you can imagine this guy has been heading this news department until just now. But it was not reported that he was also appointed.
to head the Department of Current Affairs and Documentary Films. So he's just still walking freely, I would say, in a public media where he brought all the shame on us. So we, of course, demand that he should leave all his positions and he should be fired immediately. So until these three other guys is fi are fired, we won't leave this place. I think we should keep on because this is the only pressure, this is the last resort we can do. We still get the public support, we are drinking now warm clothes and warm teas and drinks. And I think the, the, the struggle should go on because this cannot be like today. We could sleep inside because we could get into the B uh, building and from there came here, but uh, we couldn't use our, um, our small bed, what we had, because it's forbidden, uh, I mean they told that it's forbidden to sleep on a small bed, so we slept in the chair again. Uh, and today it's, it's, uh, it's, it's much worse that uh, someone wanted to bring us tea from the, from the buffet, from inside and she, she, she brought the thermos, a, a, big, uh, a big thermos with herself and in the buffet uh, canteen, or I don't know what, what, what it's named correctly um, they told her that they cannot, they, they mustn't give uh, tea in thermos probably because of us and uh, so that's why she brought five teas and just took into the plan and was supported and I heard that uh, the Olaf British plan uh, wrote a letter again that they want the trade unions uh, to give back their offices I mean then we we had we will we want them they want to, to give only one office for four or ten trade unions, which is ridiculous because, you know, we have some papers, documents, you can imagine. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Uh, I think it's okay. Uh, I, I, I feel that uh, I'm a little bit slower. And uh, I had, um, in the morning it wasn't good because I, I, I felt my stomach bad and, and, uh, and, and I felt good and I, I cannot really understand that why do we have to stay here for a week. I mean, isn't it a problem for, for the world or for, for the Europeans or for, for all jo journalists who, who, who just uh, read about it? that there are journalists here on a hunger strike and I know that we are writing this text and we know that we only want just the, the truth. I, uh, that's what I cannot really understand. Well, of course, it's now on the seventh, seventh day. I'm not used to this situation, and with the changing uh, climatic conditions, I must say, it's getting uh, worse and worse because it's, we are frozen now, a bit because of the cold. We should keep uh, try to keep us warm, and of course, after six, seven days, it's not not a joke that you don't get food. So, of course, we would like to, to stop this action as early as possible. We decided not to risk the life of our other supporters, so we decided that there will be kind of rolling over hunger strike movement, because we had many volunteers who said they wanted to join. We said just uh, please wait. Those who cannot continue because of health conditions or we say or we think that it's risky for them to continue, we will get other people to join us and they will then be replaced by those. I think we have now another supporters, supporter who will join us and uh, Aranka probably, she was 
starting this all with me. She will probably be leaving the hunger strike today. She will be helping us, but she needs to get food. She has a young boy, so we will try to keep our health and our mental and integrity also intact. Well, our message, please send all, our, all your support messages to us, to the government. Keep, continue exercising lots of pressure on the Hungarian government and the Hungarian authorities, because without that, we feel that our struggle couldn't be successful. We need lots of support. These people are just so openly arrogant. They just so openly ignorant of any democratic values. It's not just about the freedom of press which is endangered. It's just really the basic values of any democracy are in danger. If those people can do this, who are in power and who can exercise power via the public media service, don't let us be alone. Please be us. We got lots of support. I think some of the changes also due to your support. Please be with us and keep continuing uh, exercising pressure. And report also. It's very important that the, it's not just pressuring the governments. You should inform the public. You should inform all people in Europe and all over the world what's going on in Hungary, what's going on in the Hungary public media sector. I'm a journalist. I don't want to be a hunger strike. I want to keep reporting. I want to have a free press. I want to have a public media which is fulfilling its duty to inform the public informally and unbiased.